track for me. I think it's uh, one of the most fun in America for sure. You know, it's very naturally flowing, lots of fast corners. The S's are, are super iconic, I think. And, um, you know, it's, it's a track that I haven't driven at for a long time, so it's nice to be back here and uh, enjoying it. I think it's a, a favorite amongst a lot of drivers. It makes it a bit more challenging going into the race when you know you practice in different conditions and, and obviously the race is going to be dry now but we did get some running on friday and for me i felt pretty comfortable with the car and, and sheena said it was a good improvement in qualifying so um you know i guess i'll find out halfway through the race today but uh, i think the team's done a good job and hopefully we can keep moving up i think our confidence is, is really high you know obviously we've had some really good races throughout the year some that that could have gone better but uh, we've got two more shots at it hopefully we can uh, you know, at least be back on the podium in, in one, if not both of these races and, and hopefully get our, our first win of the year. But I think, uh, you know, we've definitely been making improvements and uh, hopefully we can, we can show it on track. Stand by everybody, Virginia is for Racing Lovers Grand Prix. 120 minutes of action for Mission and Pilot Challenge comes up right now. In flag is in hand, it's in the air, we're racing. The two hours start right now. Around. Spencer Pickett put that car's fastest lap of the race in in the motorsports in action. Number three, McLaren. Motorsports is like the craziest thing in the sense that like I felt like I was driving really well and that in itself is super rewarding because it was like, okay, like this is probably your best stint and your best race that you've ever had. At the same time, it's like equally as frustrating. You get out of the car, you hand, the, you hand it over to your co-driver, Spencer, he did an incredible job. And then, you know, it kind of just, anything happens, it gets dicey. You know, the yellows come in and I don't know, all the, all the scenarios you kind of plan for go out the window and sometimes it, the chips fall your way and then sometimes they just don't and so. I feel like we're doing all the right things and it's just, you know, we're not as far up as I feel like we should be sometimes in the standings. But, you know, we, we have the, the, the car that we have and the tools that we have. So, you know, we just keep our head down and maximize what we have. But yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, you always want to go home with results and, you know, you want to feel like you got something for the hard work. And so it's just a little bit tough to swallow some days. One thing you learn here is that basically anything is possible from race to race. So. At this point, the goal is to finish top three in the championship. Got to take a look at that and see if, if those cards are even on the table.